What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power of Play with CJ. Uh, today, uh, Greg Winchewski, Puck Daddy from Yahoo, uh, did a pretty cool piece on uh, players that are over the age of 33, 34, that, uh, you know, what their Hall of Fame chances are, because, you know, obviously the Hall of Fame induction ceremonies are this week. And, um, you know, I'm actually going to go player by player and my thoughts on, um, you know, each one. So it'll be a longer piece. Uh, you know, I, I like the list he put together. Um, I disagree with a few of the picks, but here are my picks uh, on who's in and who's out. Daniel Alfredson is in. Um, you know, he's actually closer to being a bubble guy than anyone, but uh, he's definitely in. You know, the, the no Stanley Cup ring is going to hurt him, but, uh, you know, that's, that's what it is. Jerome McGinley is in. Same thing, no Stanley Cup ring, but one of the more, elite, um, you know, definitely elite goal scorers in the last 15 years in the National Hockey League. And, you know, it's great to see him with the Bruins. Uh, you know, I always love them with Calgary and, you know, love the way he plays the game and the tenacity he has and, you know. Just the all on gaming place. Uh, Ray Whitney is not in. I won't. I like Whitney, you know, the wizard, but I don't have him in. You know, if Dave Anderchuk's not in, he's not in. Uh, Marion Hosa will be in. I think he'll end up with 550 goals, give or take. You know, elite two way player, two Stanley Cups as it is, potential for more. Yeah, he's in. Uh, Patrick Eliash is not in. I love Eliash as a player. I think he's a class act and, you know, one of the more underrated players on. Uh, probably the you know one of the better teams of the last uh, 12 15 years on uh, New Jersey Devils but I don't see him getting in Marty San Louis is in uh, you know two scoring titles Stanley Cup league MVP uh, and definitely one of the more dynamic all-around offensive players in uh, in recent memory in the NHL Vinny Le Cavalier is not in and that pains me to say this because I thought he was gonna have 600 goals and uh, you know be the next uh, Jean Beliveau but that hasn't been the case uh, you know, he had a good six, seven year run there uh, with Tampa, and now, you know, he's out of the lane and he's with Philly. And, you know, it's it's really, it's tough not watching him. T it's tough watching him play knowing he's not the player he was, you know, a couple years ago, but it is what it is. Patrick Marlowe is not in. Uh, no regular season trophies to speak of. Uh, you know, not not, not any playoff success, no playoff success at all. And, uh, you know, playoff numbers are, are abysmal. So, I mean, not abysmal, but compared to the, the type of player he is, I can't put him in the Hall of Fame. On that, uh, on that base, and that uh, Joe Thornton, I think, is probably closer to getting in, and he didn't put Thornton on the list because he looked at him as being, you know, his lack of playoffs because I've heard him. But Thornton's regular season numbers will be exponentially better than uh, than Marlowe's. Brad Richards, I know uh, Wyshynski had him in. I don't have him in. Uh, I think he was, you know, he's, he's for as good an offensive player as he is. I just don't see him as a Hall of Famer. Albeit, he does have a good shot with the Colin Smythe. Um, you know, I just think the. He's had some peaks and valleys. You know, he's had some, some great regular seasons and some not so great regular seasons. But, you know, having a constant in your resume is nothing to shake a stick at. So we'll see how that works out. Shane Doan is not in. Yeah, he's a class act. He's got intangibles. He's this, he's that. But if he's in, then Patrice Bergeron. They should rename the, the Hall of Fame after Patrice Bergeron. So all due respect to Donor, he's not in. Same goes with Smitty. I love Ryan Smith. Uh, you know, Captain Canada, the long hair, you know, the mullet. He's not a Hall of Famer, though. Ala Sedin's in. Yes, they're in. Both of them. Daniel and Henry, because you can't have one without the other. It's like, uh, it was the Sinatra song, Love and Marriage. We'll call it Henrik and Daniel, you know. Uh, they, they do everything together. And when you factor in their regular season success and their, um, you know, international success, uh, they're definitely in. Pavel Datsuk is in, and that, that, you know, two Stanley Cup rings, a plethora of Selkie trophies, one of the elite two way players in the game seen, um, you know, its history. Uh, she named a Stalky Trophy after him with his filthy Mets, and uh, yeah, he's in. So Henrik Zetterberg is in as well. Uh, Con Smythe winner, Stanley Cup. Uh, you know, he's a good all-around player. Uh, has, you know, this captain of original six team, there's something to be said for that. And, uh, you know, I can see him getting in the Hall of Fame. You know, I think he's on the bubble on the Wisniewski list, but him, him and Zetterberg, him and Dotsuk are both in. Uh, Sergey Gonchar is a Hall of Famer. He is in. Um, you know, he was overshadowed offensively for much of his career by Lidstrom and Niedermeyer. But, uh, you know, his offensive numbers are great. Uh, longevity, Stanley Cup of Pittsburgh, he's in. Kimo Timonen is not in. Uh, good offensive defenseman. Last couple of years, but not really. Uh, you know, last number of years, but not a Hall of Famer. Dan Boyle, this one was tough. He's not in. Um, yeah, I just don't think there were enough high-quality years. I think his last year in Tampa was really injury-plagued. And, you know, I think he, for as good as he's been in San Jose, I just don't think there's been enough good years for him. I hope he gets in. I love his game. I think he's one of the best defensemen to play in, in the last decade or so. He's, he has a Stanley Cup ring with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. But he doesn't have a Norris trophy. So. And also, like him, 
like Gon Chao, he played in the Lindstrom era, so that hurt him. Uh, his name of Chara isn't, and this isn't just me as a Bruins fan, this is me as a hockey fan. Uh, freak of nature, Norris Trophy winner, Stanley Cup, uh, you know, 100 mile an hour slap shot, all world uh, potential, all world talent, I should say. He's potentially 36 years old. Uh, you know, he's definitely, you know, he's one of the, you know, like I said, a freak of nature in the National Hockey League, and he's been able to play at a high level for a long time. And to be honest with you, he doesn't look like he's slowing down, so that's a good thing as a Bruins fan. Sorry, the other 29 teams. And then finally, two goalies. Obviously, uh, three goals. Bro Doors. I mean, mighty, mighty Bro Doors. You should be named after him, uh, the, the Vesna Trophy. Uh, but Roberto Luongo is not in. No Stanley Cup playoff uh, meltdowns. I know he has a gold medal at the Olympics, but he's not in. And uh, Nabokov is not in. So that's Greg Wyshynski's list uh, with who uh, who's in and who's out. It's like the movie Ocean's Love. You're either in or you're out. Uh, yeah, I didn't do the on the bubble stuff because I just feel like it's it's either here or there. But, you know, there are plenty of guys on the bubble. And uh, hopefully, guy on the bubble, Dave Andrew Chuck, gets in sooner rather than later. Anyway, that's on this episode of The Power Play with CJ on the uh, response to Greg Wyshynski, Puck Daddy, uh, his, Hall of Fame, his Hall of Fame list. Stay tuned for more episodes with the season and beyond. Later, guys.